Good photo, another good photo, and long enough exposure. They did a long enough exposure. You know how Eric and I love that. But you know, it's the color thing. There's a couple of things here that we can do. This is there's not a lot to do to this photo because it's really pretty good out of camera. But if I had to do stuff, uh, first thing I would do is let's uh, hit the auto and see what that does. It's just bright in this scene. Didn't do a whole lot. Uh, I would. It, one thing it did do was darken this area right here. So let's go look back how bright it was. Look how bright that was and how bright the water was. And what this does, dragging the highlights, not the shadow slider, the highlight slider to the left, look how it brought that back. So it's not like blooming on you, right? I think that was a huge, huge thing. Uh, and then, of course, I would probably go to the effects and add a little bit of vignetting, which would take off the extra little bit on that top end. All right. Uh, the thing that stood out to me with this one is the color. So let's go and drag the temperature slider towards the yellows. Warm it up a bit. Maybe a little towards the magentas as well. I think you, that's a more pleasing color. So take a look at the on screen. Do you see now, isn't it funny Like once you yeah. fix the color, how blue the other one looked? Now, I might have gone a little far with the yellow, actually. But it's not too bad, really. I didn't go too far with the yellow. I think I went further with the magenta. Maybe pull back the magenta just a hair. But I think that's better. And you can see we're we're in a better place up here. It's not quite as bright. The other thing I'd probably do is just crop this in a little bit, right? You came here for the waterfall, right? That's the star of this show. So let's let's see waterfall. And by cropping it in a little bit like this, you also get rid of some of those bright spots above. And yeah, it's just hard. I know you're it, losing that. You're losing yeah, that. Yeah. Let's let's go this way then. Yes. There we go. And that way your waterfall isn't centered. It's a little messy. There's just sticks and stuff to clean up, which I would do. Let's add some contrast. I think I add a little bit of contrast. I might open up the shadows a little bit more. Now, see these rocks and this stuff here? I think mm -hmm. I would go and get the masking tool. Get the brush and increase the exposure and just bring the detail out in these rocks and stuff because they're getting kind of lost in the in the sauce and that's part of your you know this is part of your gig right here this is where your your stuff is it also right? helps there with the water to take out that muddiness of the water yeah and then i would do that overall i mentioned uh dehaze but we never did it so let's go to dehaze and just pop that up a little bit now Dehaze is a form of contrast. So because I added contrast earlier, I think I'll probably take that off and just use dehaze as the as the contrast. What about darkening up this rock and this area? Yep. It's like it draws. Yep, let's do it. that. Let's go over here. Good call. And we're gonna add the brush and we're gonna darken just this area. Let me lower the exposure and we'll paint over. Let's make sure auto mask is not on. Yeah. And we'll paint over these. This is kind of drawing the eye. Yeah. Agreed. All of this over here is not necessary to be as bright as it is. Because that's, especially because it's kind of messy. There's no sense in yeah. accentuating the mess. We could even take those two down. And I, I might have gone a little too far with those. Yeah. Maybe what we do but is still, take the highlights yeah, down. Still. And really, it's a, it's a pretty nice photo. I think the rest of what I would do... I jump over to Photoshop and then I would go and start cleaning up like these sticks and stuff. Yeah, they're not doing anything. They are not helping your photo. So that's got to go. I'm using the spot healing brush over in the toolbar. And all you do is just drag it down the, the stick and the stick's gone. Same thing over here. Goodbye, stick. Stick. These sticks sticking up here, that's not helping your photo. Get this stick. Yeah, just clean up these little things that are not helping. You can make your own decision on these pieces of wood that are sticking up. I might get rid of some some of them. I mean, you know, the less distractions, the better, right? And then there's some junk in here, all this stuff. None of this would be helping your photo, right? Now, I know that the person that was going to do this themselves, they'd probably retouch a lot of this stuff, so... You know, I'm not this. I'm not taking somebody's finished photo and saying they did it wrong. These were completely undone. So I'll get rid of anything. Yeah, this, that's what you would do to the photo. Yeah, this is. Yeah, this, I'm not critiquing somebody else's. Uh, still looks a little greeny in there, doesn't it? Yeah. 
Looks a little greeny. Yeah, that looks green. Let's I go see, again. I tack. I usually tack that through that that um through the color mixer. Oh, we could do that. Just because it's a it's a color that you know, yeah it's, yeah it's just well like, you can't take out green because there's you know well, but I I'd rather change push that green that green up the top yeah, yeah you could maybe push in some magenta yeah I would just push in some magenta let me go push to in color some magenta yeah that'll help I'm pushing in some magenta that'll get rid of the green it's actually it's the yellow channel that has the green is not right in the yellow channel and that's why the mixing for me does it here's a color mixer and under like a hue. hue and you want to change the hue you're going to use the target adjustment yeah sure. see i'm not seeing green in here it's a yellow it's a yellow but it's if you're pushing that yellow away from green it'll start yeah see it how it's warming it up then yeah now it's looking red though it's you know you just went a little there you go right there it's little right. small things it's little small things little small things but let's take a look side by side so that's yeah. post crop but it's it's warmer the colors yeah. are better and we cleaned up some junk, but that's a good shot. <laughs>